Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello student and how are you today? I hope that you all in good conditions For today discussions, we will discuss about Should have, could have, would have What is should have, could have, and would have? In daily spoken, should, uh, sometimes we shorten the word should, uh, should have, could have, would have to should have, could have, and would have. And those words are modal verbs. Modal verbs itself are used to express necessity or possibility of something happening. Modal verbs is didn't have sorry modal verbs didn't have the past form, so it can be used in any uh, type of time. This we cannot use modal verb with of. For example, should of, could of, would of, because modal verbs has have, so it become should, should have, could have, would have, even though they may sound uh, the sound uh, the sound is quite similar. Okay. Our first discussion is about should have. The structure for should have, as for the positive sentence, should plus have plus past participle. And for the negative sentence, should plus not plus have plus past participle. Should have is used to express regret. Regret itself, something that we should do in the past but we didn't do it and we feel regret about the result the for example here i should have studied hard for the english exam the reality is i didn't study really hard so i didn't get a better result because I didn't study really hard. The, se the second example, I shouldn't have been rude to Dina. In these situations, I act really rude to Dina and I regret it of doing that. The next usage of should have to recommend a different actions in the past. The first example, you should have brought your jacket. The reality is I didn't bring the jacket and I uh, uh, talk to myself, I should bring the jacket. And then the second example, I shouldn't shout it at Buddy. And the reality is, I shouted to Buddy, and I act, and I talked to myself. I wish I didn't shout to Buddy. And then, the third usage of should have to talk about something that you expected to happen. In this, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the example is the cake should have been cooked by now. Yeah, we are expecting the the cake is already cooked, but unfortunately, it's still being in the process of cooking. So we cannot eat it. We expect to eat it at that time, but the condition, the cake hasn't cooked yet. And that the second example, the bus should have arrived an hour ago. We have. In this example, we have already wait for the bus around two hours, and we we expect that 
it should the bus should have arrived an hour ago but until now it's it's all it's already two hours the bus hasn't arrived yet it means that the bus is late okay <sighs> the next uh, discussion is about could have the short term for could have for the positive sentence could plus have plus past participle and for the negative sentence could plus not plus have plus past participle yeah the we use could have to talk about imaginary situations yeah the if we use the positive sentence the positive structure it means it is possible to happen even though at the time of speaking it didn't happen the example is you could have been a teacher if you had studied hard harder sorry yeah at that time i haven't been a teacher because i didn't study really hard the second the second example i couldn't have arrived any earlier if we use the negative here it means that it is impossible to happen yeah i couldn't have arrived any earlier this is the earliest thing that i can arrive i cannot arrive any earlier anymore all right that's what it means and then the third uh, usage of could have to talk about alternative possibility in the past the first example you were almost late you could miss your exam yeah but the reality is i didn't late and i can still the exam and then the the second uh, example is you were driving very fast you could have crashed in these situations i didn't drive very fast and i didn't get involved in any crash but if i drive my motorcycle very fast it could i could get uh, involved in a crash okay uh that's for uh, to uh, that's for the usage of to talk about alternative possibility in the past and then uh, the last one the last usage of could have is to criticize someone this is in what uh, in the criticize of someone whether he or uh, he or she do or didn't do it okay the example is you should have told me you were going to be late in these situations i came late and my friend criticized me for being late by saying you should have told me you were going to be late <laughs> our last discussion for this uh, session is about would have would have we use would have usually in the form of the third conditional sentence so the structure is the if clause now for the structure uh, for the positive sentence if plus past participle plus would plus have plus past participle and then for the negative if plus past participle plus would plus not plus have and plus past participle uh, would have and could have has similarities but actually they didn't uh, they uh, has a uh, differences for uh, if we talk if we use could have it can still be possible to happen but if we use would have it is impossible to happen because it's uh, the when we say it it's already done the activity or the conditions okay the usage of would have is to talk about imaginary situations in the past we are 
just making images imaginations here it means that it's impossible to happen the example is if i had studied i would have achieved better result yeah and uh, what do we get because we didn't uh, study really hard so we didn't get a uh, better result yeah and then the, for the second ex uh, example if i hadn't trained it well i wouldn't have won the race the reality is i won the race because i trained really really hard and then the last the last uh, usage of would have to talk about something we wanted to do but didn't yeah the example is she would have bought the car but she didn't have enough money yeah want to buy we would uh, i want to buy that car but i didn't buy it because I don't have enough money to do it okay and also to remember here uh, when you we are using would have it not it's not always uh, use the if clause in the last uh, example here we didn't use the if clause we only use would have would plus have and plus participle okay that's all for today uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh